All right, one bullet left. It's the end of the world. We have one bullet left. The zombies are coming. I'm gonna shoot the guy trying to steal my food. Yeah, because food matters. I'm gonna show you guys today how to make a personalized zombie apocalypse candy survival kit. Because if the zombies come, let's face it, we're all gonna need candy. This is essentially more of a put together than an actual bake, but it's a really fun idea and so simple to personalize. I'm also gonna leave links down below where you guys can get all of the templates. I just printed mine on like a brown cardstock, so it looks kind of old and all you need to do is print and cut. Once all of your templates are printed and you've cut around them, we can start assembling all of the elements of our zombie kit. I'm using two packets of red vines or you could use Twizzlers or any red licorice. And then I'm gonna find my dynamite tag, wrap it around the center and secure with a bit of double-sided tape. My pop rocks are gonna be my flash bangs. So I'm just gonna piece them together and then tape their little template at the back. And I've also got some ammo. For my ammo, I'm using Sour Punch Bites and instead of taping this one on, I'm gonna tie it around so I kind of get some more of that rustic twine. The sour Punch, much better than an actual punch. I've got a can of peanuts and I'm just gonna wrap around my rations label, but just between you and I, for Alec, these should really be chocolate coated. The peanuts will do. A can of Red Bull or other fun energy drink provides our energy for the end of the world. I've got some salami sticks or pepperoni sticks, which are essentially like a dried meat jerky. And instead of taping this template around or tying it off, I'm actually gonna make two small cuts in it. So it kind of creates like a little sleeve and I can slide all of my smoked meat sticks straight inside. It literally says smoked meat sticks on the box. It's super gross. I've got some little Tic Tacs that I'm gonna turn into my pills. For my Band-Aids, I'm gonna steal one of the containers for my cupcake cases, and then I've just got some of these little sour candy straps. I'm gonna empty them in and tape a little Band-Aids template around. That Band-Aids template's actually the perfect size for a regular cupcake liner if you just wanna stick them in there. Now, I don't wanna look like an overachiever, but this box, origami. For a different day. If you want to make your own box, you can. Otherwise, you can just buy a smaller box. And I'm going to make this like my little first aid kit. First aid kit's done. So pop on the lid. And again, I'm going to use that rustic string to kind of tie around to secure everything in place. I've also got a little flashlight because everyone needs light at the end of the world. Choose your end of world weapons. I'm a bit of a talker, so I'm going to need the walkie talkie. And of course, the water pistol. Water pistols are fun. The zombies are coming. <laughs> Better watch out and pack candy. Hasta la vista, zombie. <laughs> I almost got the camera, can you imagine? So we've identified the most fun part of the zombie kit and now it's time to put it all together. I'm using just like an apple box and then I got a little bit of this mesh kind of fabric to stick it all together. I'm gonna put the crossbow in first. Once the crossbow's in, I'm just gonna use some paper towel and I'm actually gonna put it underneath the mesh because the crossbow is pretty big, but everything else in this deep box, I kind of want it to be sitting up and coming out of the box. We spent way too long on those labels. Speaking of labels, zombie survival kit, just in case there were any doubts as to what it is. I'm gonna start by just adding in some of my elements, my least favorite ones towards the back so I can see all my most favorite ones at the front. Because I opted for presentation and lifted everything up, I'm not gonna fit everything in my kit, but if I was gonna ship this, I'd lay it all down, stick it all in, seal the top and post it off. A zombie apocalypse kit is one of those things that you don't even know you need until you need it. So I suggest having a really nicely styled box of candy, guns and water pistols on hand always, just in case. I'm actually kind of looking forward to the end of the world. Is that weird? If the zombies come, I'll be the one eating candy in the kitchen, not fighting, just eating. I'm okay with that.